everybody. It's Campfire Trish coming at you from my backyard. So as promised last week, I'm going to be bringing to you guys a special video today. Uh, again, um, we're still celebrating our anniversary and I decided to make, that's my main squeeze and I, um, to make a special dessert. Uh, again, kind of with that beachy theme because that's where we love to be. Uh, we haven't been there yet, but hopefully soon we'll be there soon. Um, but so I'm bringing to you a special dessert treat. There is no campfire involved. I know y'all, isn't that crazy? But it's going to be delicious. It's easy to make and, um, I, um, and brought it outside, um, to you today. So, I hope you enjoy. I'm going to be making a key lime cheesecake, no bake, easy peasy, not lemon squeezy, limey squeezy. And boy, have I'm going to, I'm going to have to squeeze some limes. All right, just coming to you. These are the supplying ingredients we're going to use today: cream cheese, key limes condensed milk, vanilla, cool whip, graham cracker crust, and juice all but one or two of the key limes. The big kids have been doing the dishes and I couldn't find the bottom of my juicer so I had to improvise today. Man, all those limes only equals this much juice. That's crazy. Mix the cream cheese and condensed milk together with an electric mixer. Mix in the vanilla. Then add in the key lime juice. Mix well. Gently fold in the Cool Whip.
pour your mixture into the prepared graham cracker crust. Add some sliced key limes for decoration. Gotta make it pretty for my main squeeze. So now comes the hard part, the waiting before we get to taste it. Wait, who am I kidding? I get to taste it now. Tasty already. All right, we'll have to come back later to really taste it after it's been sitting in the refrigerator for a while. I'll be back. All right, let's give this a taste. Mm. Oh, wow. This is really good. So it's the right amount of tart compare with like combination with the sweetness so it's perfect i've had um some cheesecakes or some key lime pie that is like that no offense if you love this but it's that green gelatinous kind of like goo i'm not a fan of it but this with the cream cheese and the key lime juice and some of that cool whip it just makes an awesome it's an awesome combination um, it's an awesome combination. I make a, a different type of cheesecake, a no-bake cheesecake with many of the same ingredients, and it's just as good. That's a family favorite. Like, everybody's into that. Um, as you saw, my kids have already dug in. I gave them a piece a little while ago so they get out my hair and <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> me and Maine Squeeze alone for a little bit for our anniversary dinner. But, hey. Here. That's main squeeze, obviously. <laughs> Who else would it be? What do you think? It's good. Mm. What's your good. impression? Is it too tart? No, it's good. When when you taste tested it yesterday, you said it was a little tart. Yeah, but with the graham cracker crust, it helps mellow it. It mellows, yeah. I think Soaks it's up really... some of that lime juice. Yeah. Very good. So this is a total win. Like, this is probably... It's probably one of the better key lime pies I've actually had honestly I mean when you don't have to make it yourself that just increases the the, the yumminess from it if it's a good one um, but this is really really tasty I'm very happy I wish you guys can you know like have some look at that yumminess um, I wish I could share um, but you know sorry you'll just have to make it yourself it's really really simple to do it just do it but otherwise I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'm going to go enjoy the rest of my anniversary and I'll talk to you later.